All right, the election day is just two weeks away, but early voting starts on Thursday coming up here in Maryland. And the League for People with Disabilities is making sure that everyone has access and the resources to get out to vote. WMER 2 News Sierra Williams shows us some of the steps it's taking to make sure every vote counts. The League for People with Disabilities has been an early voting site in Baltimore for years. Uh, it brings the public here and it gives the public a chance to see people with disabilities and see the things that we do. The building houses programs for people with intellectual and physical disabilities. Yeah, we've been educating our participants on the on the voting process and they get very excited that that early voting will be right here to make it much easier for them. Becoming a voting site during election season gives those who usually attend the programs an opportunity to exercise their right. Because there are many early voting sites that aren't accessible. From sign language interpreters for enrolled participants to wider hallways allowing for more wheelchairs to maneuver, Greenberg says the league being a voting site eliminates barriers. We live and breathe disabilities, so when, if we see something that isn't quite right in the hallway, like making a person with disabilities stand when they should be offered a seat, uh, uh, we, will, we will say something. The league has also made available information on also Brooks and Hogan disability policies, so voters who are impacted by these issues personally can make an informed decision. And you can register and, and, and hear about their positions on disability issues, things like housing and employment, uh, and just this discrimination of people with disabilities. Outside the building is a mail-in drop box that also extends as accessible for not only those with disabilities, but people in the community. Early voting begins Thursday, October 24th at 7 in the morning. The League for People with Disabilities says its highest turnout for election season is early voting, totaling nearly 10,000 people. Sayara Williams, WMAR 2 News.